Hey, what's up? My name is Cade Beecher. Yeah, so uh, I just kind of recently moved to Scottsdale, uh, which is kind of like the fancy part of Arizona. It's like the L.A. and Hollywood and, you know, California. And, well, I did it because I asked my brother. I'm like, you know, hey, Evan. Evan's my brother. I'm like, you know, he he, you know, he married a beautiful wife. I'm like, Evan, you got to give me some advice, you know. Where are all these hot chicks at? And he goes, Cade, man, you got to move out to Scottsdale. That's where all the hot babes are at. So I moved out to Scottsdale. But what my brother failed to tell me is, like, how are you supposed to get with all these hot chicks like with all these other hot guys around you know so I, I asked my brother again I'm like hey you know Evan what am I doing wrong how come I'm not having sex with any of these any of these hot chicks and he goes oh Kate I forgot to tell you you need to lose weight too what lose weight F that I'll just continue picking up chicks from curves haha -ha. No, but like uh, another thing is uh, I was I kind of had a family outing this weekend at the zoo and while I was at the zoo I learned a really cool fact about gazelles and that fact is gazelles have an evolutionary trait that prevents them from jumping over solid objects so when they don't know it's on the other side they don't jump over it I'm like wow that's really cool that's why the only thing that's enclosing gazelles is this three foot tall wall solid wall because they don't know what's on the other side. And I'm like, wow, I hope lions don't learn about this. That would be crappy. Can you imagine some gazelles hanging out, talking about a dead friend from the night before around the water cooler? Hey guys, what's up, man? Did you hear about Jimmy? He died last night. Ah, oh, man, Jimmy died last night? Would he have like a heart attack or a stroke or something? No, man, two lions X'd him. They cornered him between a very small wall he could have easily jumped over. Yeah. But uh, moving on, like uh, I have a, uh, I don't know, you guys probably seen those math public service announcements and you know they do have public service announcements about everything, PSAs, but I see a math public service announcement like every 15 minutes on the TV. I'm like, geez, you know, maybe they could just let us assume that uh, doing meth is bad. It's like, you know, we, we don't we don't need to be told that, you know, doing meth is bad. That's why I want to, you know, come out with my own little PSA. And you know what it would what it be about? You remember that guy from Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill? Um, yeah, are you like uh, Sunny 16? You know, she's like Grim Brown Fat Lady? Yeah, that guy. Well, I want to do a PSA on his little problem, of kidnapping a fat lady and then starving her for three days and then wearing her skin as a suit. Now, yeah, and that's only because, like, I don't really blame Buffalo Bill for doing it, because he really doesn't know that what he was doing was wrong because there's no PSAs about it. You know, that's why I want to come up with my own little PSA about that particular problem. Get some celebrity in on it, too, like Steve Nash or something. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Steve Nash, eh? You know I don't think it's cool? Kidnapping a fat lady and then starving her for three days and then wearing her skin as a suit. Stay in school. Because not as only is skinning a fat lady and then wearing her skin as a suit illegal, it's also really fucked up and crazy. And that advice is nothing but net. Hey, I'm Kate Beecher, man. I hope you enjoyed it.